last night I was staying up late and I was journaling about relationships and gratitude. I wrote my gratitude 11, literally at the start, God gave us women. And I said, God gave us this elegant reincarnation of your happiness. It is a treasure that we should diligently protect and something that is irreplaceable because it gave us the reason to live on, children to tend and shoulder to cry on. Oh, and I was just thinking, I was just thinking about relationships. I was thinking about how a man and a woman could form such an extraordinary bond between them that they can produce some kind of offspring, that they can have such a happy life, such a fulfilled life, such a secure life that is going to change the entire worldview literally forever. You probably just like me, you're probably a young man or a young woman watching this video and you want to have that 10 out of 10 relationship. You want to have that perfect girl for you, you want to have that perfect man, literally, right? And I think a lot of the times, finding that perfect person for you or finding that 10 out of 10 is not as hard as we think. It's not as unreachable. It's not like we're shooting for the stars for something. We're really not. But I think the key to finding such an extraordinary relationship is that you got to hold yourself at such a high standard. The main thing I hold myself to right now are things such as I don't want to drink alcohol, right? I don't want to mess up my brain. I don't want to do drugs. I don't want to have casual sexual intercourse, right? I don't want to go to parties. I just genuinely want to be myself. I want to work on myself. I want to develop myself. I want to improve every part of myself. So one day I could attract that woman who literally emulates all the values I have, right? Because imagine you holding yourself at such a high standard. You automatically get like rid of probably like 80% of the people around you, right? Because, you know, people, they want instant gratification. They want to go to parties. They want to um, get drunk with their friends, which fair enough, good for them, right? We are not like them. I'm gonna be honest. We want to keep ourselves sober. We want to keep a clear mind. We don't want to have casual sex at parties, do we? We want to find that person who would genuinely enlighten our soul. They would change our worldview. They would change our lives. And here's when I really want to address the fact that if you don't do any of that kind of things, the people you meet are literally not going to do that kind of things, are literally not going to do these things that you look down upon, you know? Because as like a very good quote, um, they say that uh, don't talk about what good man should be, be one, right? Literally every single girl is out there is like looking for that good man. And you're just not gonna talk about what a good man should be. You should just be one, man. You should use your actions. If you're a woman, like, same thing, same idea, right? Just use your actions to tell everyone around you, hey, this is the standard I hold myself upon. And I think a very important thing that I've done in my mind is that I literally, oh, it's not even gonna show you the journal, but I journal literally factors, um, literally like what would my 10 out of 10 girl be like? And I think, I think one big thing is definitely like charisma. It's so big for me. And, and you, could, you could do this right now, right? Pull out a piece of paper, write uh, on the start, like meditations one or something, literally like what I do. Um, then write down like 10 factors that you think your perfect girl or perfect guy should have. Then I want you to think about it. I want you just to like, go to sleep tonight and read your list again, think about it. And tell yourself, hey, that's not so difficult because I'm going to be honest, there's not one thing I wrote on my list that is impossible right i don't want the girl to had to have had like sex before me surely that's not too hard there's thousands of millions of women out there right there's thousands of women uh, millions of women out there who genuinely don't drink alcohol who genuinely don't take drugs like these are very baseline things that i think we should all take into consideration and these are all factors we should uh keep in mind to find that extraordinary person for you. Because we want to live an abnormal life, right? We're in this world to get the best. We're not in this world to get mediocre. We're not in this world to get a random boy or girl, are we? 
we've lived this far. We realize that we want the best. We want the absolute best of the best. And that's why you got to be like one, man. And a lot of people might say in the comments, whatever, the experience, right? How, how do you get experience? I think this is a very funny thing. I literally call it in my journal, the experience paradox. A lot of the times we think that, oh, when I find that perfect girl for me or like that perfect guy, I want to have like, like amazing sexual abilities or whatever and like great skills and like be able to like please them or whatever. But I find that really funny because imagine like you find that perfect person. Theoretically, you finding that perfect person. Every single person you practice on in the past are not as good as this perfect person. Evidently so, because you're literally like, they're down here. Your perfect woman's up there. Then how would their experience, your experience with these people down here, match up with your perfect girl? They're not going to. You're literally going to be downgrading yourself by using the experience that you gain from other people. And I really, I think it's so, so simple. You should only practice at a level that you know that is going to be your perfect girl. You should practice with your perfect girl because that's how you know that you genuinely please her. Like, I think that is super, super straightforward and super, super important to keep in mind that experience goes away experience fades in the face of that extraordinary person you're planning to have a deep and exciting relationship with so that's a bit of my thoughts by the way leaving you guys with a note i think if you want to learn more about love uh definitely two books to recommend first one is called the five love languages by gary chapman dr gary chapman check it out the five love languages it's about uh, how to like understand your uh, girlfriend or whatever, boyfriend, and how they genuinely uh, want to receive your love, what type of love they want to receive. Another one's called Attached by Dr. Amir Levine and Rachel Heller. Such a good book about how your childhood experiences influence your sexual dating life in the future. So yeah, read those two books. Uh, I'm sure you're gonna have an extraordinary life, extraordinary relationship. Follow my advice, listen to this video. Love you so much. Bye bye.